Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request tutorial for RPG Maker MV for my friend True Neutral, and he's trying to set up an event sequence uh, that uses switches, and basically he's got an event where uh, in his town there's some uh, some baddies, and they have a leader, and if you kill the leader, all of the minions run away, and he's having some trouble putting it together. So let me show you uh, what we're going to make, and then I'll show you how to make it. So we put a little sequence of events and we've got our minions to the left and the right here and then we've got our leader right in the middle. If we talk to these guys, they just say, hey, I'm a minion. I do as I told until I'm released. Nothing happens. But if we talk to the leader, he says, my leader's under the control, shows an animation, he attacks you, and once you kill him, we get an event sequence. It says, ah, oh, you killed the leader, run away, and they just take off and run down the stairs. So let me show you how I made that. Really simple uh, sequence. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make your leader event. So create a new event for the leader. I'm sure you already have it. Um, but after you've got uh, the show text, animation, battle processing and all that, you probably already have all the flavor stuff. But what you need to put in there is a control switch. So we're going to make a new switch. We're going to call it boss killed. We're going to turn that on right after the battle. So we've you know, if we got to this point in the in the contents, then we've won the battle. Uh, so that turns the switch on. And then this is uh, if you want the minions to say something, you want to put it in the leaders. Um, the leaders, otherwise, before they they start running, one of them will start running, and or they'll talk first, and then they'll run, and it just doesn't look as uh, precise. You would think they would just take off. So this plays while they take off running. Also, that stops the player from. Uh, colliding if the player was expecting it they can go down and, and get in front of the way at least now they have to let the text play and spam enter and this will buy you just enough time so that you can't uh, create a collision and uh, stop them from disappearing uh, on the second page you're gonna make it empty because you beat the leader and instead of using a self switch we're using an actual switch uh, a stored uh, switch we're not using a local switch we're using a global switch because we want this to trigger the other event that happens so no self switch in the, on the leader, but we're going to use an actual global switch. So this page is empty and it has checking for the boss killed switch. So after you beat him, the switch turns on, he disappears. But that's also going to control your minions. So your minions are going to, if you talk to them on page one, nothing happens, nothing's checking for a switch, but they just say, well, maybe you want it to, to be a battle here. So you can put the battle there if you want. Um, you said if you uh, fight the leader that you don't have to fight these guys. So um, I just, even if there was a battle here, you know, it's up to you. But on the next page, you're going to check for that boss killed switch. So if you want him to run away, you actually have to do a move event. So you're going to go right click new, uh, go over to tab two and go set movement route and select it to this event. This is going to specify that this event is what's moving, not the player. Um, we're also going to wait for completion. This is a, a fail save, just to check, just to make sure the player can't move while they're moving. Uh, just to, so that you can't block them but um i think because this is in a, diff a different event the player can still move that's why i did the show text on the other one but you can mess around with this and uh and see how it works for you this seems to work for this situation but then you're going to do a third thing if you don't do the next page then they'll just run into a wall or they'll go to tell they're running out of move events and that's it if you want them to disappear you're going to have to do a self switch on these guys you could do a global switch, but you don't need to, so you might as well use a local switch and save system resources. So you're going to uh, right-click Insert New Control Self Switch on tab 1 and, uh, and set that to A. And then you're going to create a new... Also, before I move to the next page, you want to specify how fast they're moving. Select their speed right here. You saw them take off pretty quickly, so we spent their, I set their speed to 2. Um, on the third page, to make them disappear, you're going to continue to check for this switch. Um, just because why not um, but you're also going to check for the the self switch a so what's going to happen and how it works in the order of events it's going to play what's on the 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 highest number priority page so this is page three this is page two this is page one it's going to try to play page three before it plays the rest of them and so if there was no conditions here it's going to play just page three if you had page 10 it would try to pay, play page 10 before everything so that's how it works it checks 
to the highest number, then the next number, then the next number. But if these conditions aren't met, it's going to move to the next page. If this condition isn't met, it's going to move to the next page. And right from the get-go, there's no switches or self-switches being checked. So the first thing the game's doing is looking at page three. Can we run these contents? No, because the conditions aren't met. Move to the next page. Can we run these contents? No, because the condition hasn't been met. Same thing. But this one, all the conditions have been met. So when you talk to him at the beginning, he's going to show you this message. After you beat the boss, it's going to do this because the self-switch A isn't on. But after this runs, self-switch A is on. So then it's going to continue to check uh, for this one right here. But make sure you set the trigger on this move event to be parallel process. You saw how they were both moving at the same time. That's because they're triggered parallel, right alongside of one another. So um, that's how you would uh, set up this event. Once you set up the event, you can copy this guy, paste him anywhere. And if you move him in a different location, keep in mind you'll have to change the move event uh, for the number of tiles. So basically, I had them move down 15 tiles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way down to 15 right here. And then I uh, would do their self-switch, so then they would disappear. So it looks like they ran all the way down, and then they ran downstairs. But they really just disappeared on this tile right here. But that's it. Um, that's all you really have to do. This one's just a copy-paste of the same thing. Um, hopefully that was helpful to you, True Neutral. If it was helpful to anybody else, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for your requests. Thank you for watching this video. And we will see you in the next tutorial.